We got two treats today. One, the gold plaque arrived. Our gold plaque from the Car Wizard channel arrived. We're gonna unbox it on my channel today. The second one is, how the heck do you hang artwork? Let's get started. So before we get started today, we got Daisy with me today. Say hi, Daisy. Got the fun mail this week, and the wizard had opened it before I got there. I was a little worried for a second, but got this package, and it came with a few items, and one of which was some really fun pot holders with card designs, and a big mat, and it came with a baggie. I'm like, wizard, you got something to tell me? My new friends, Susan and Ivy, from Maine sent me a package or sent us a package with this fun cat mat and these great pot holders. Oh, Daisy is ready to go play. She absolutely adores this. And I loved that it was shipped to the feline overlord of the car wizard and human staff. I love that address that it was sent to. It's fabulous. The cats absolutely adore it. Here's a little clip of them playing with it. They, they molested it the first time. This isn't their first time. So they're a little more experienced using the mat now. And, uh, Throw a little bit of catnip in. Yes, this was catnip. And, and it, was a, it was a blast. They were having a ball. So thank you for thinking of Daisy and Honey. But hey, here's what the wizard and I did when we finally opened up the boxes our first time, truly our first time opening it. So here we go. Wizard, looky what came in the mail today. Awesome, it's the million subscriber gold plaque. We're gonna open it in front of you guys. I'm anxious to see what it looks like, Mrs. Wizard. I am too. This is such a big box. It is. It just got delivered today. Here we go. Wow. Whoa. Even our official paperwork to go with it. This is huge. This is a lot bigger than the other one. <laughs> yeah, it is. Can you grab it? There we go. Wow. Look at that, guys. <laughs> Thanks to you guys, we got this plaque. One million subscribers. Couldn't do it without all yeah. of you out there. Thanks sure. again. For this sure. is amazing. Yeah. Thanks, guys. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's big. It's beautiful. The last one was much smaller. We're like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. It's so great. And it's a little heavy. Okay, it's not it's not as white and gold. I'm sorry. It's really, it's not that heavy, but it's kind of heavy. And so today we're going to talk more about how do you hang artwork? And being an art teacher, I've hung a lot of artwork in about 20 different dozen ways, but I'm going to show you some ways that can make it really easy that you never have to go back and touch it again. How many times do you walk through somebody's house or even your own house and you're like, it's crooked again, you straighten the picture. It's crooked again, you straighten the picture. I'm solving that for you today. But let me show you the first thing on the plaque here. And I've already done a little bit of work because of course we had this hanging up. Of course, second we get it, you're putting this thing on the wall. But it came with these little recessed areas. Basically, this is particle board with a gold covering, metal covering on the outside. And then they drill this out and they glue this fixture in it. And the design for this, I don't like. Basically what they're saying is, thou shalt drill two holes into your wall with a screw, probably um, anchor it. And they didn't give directions actually, they just said, hey, here it is. Which we appreciate, totally appreciate. I just don't like this part of it. And so thou shalt drill two holes in your wall. Okay. I don't like doing that. I don't like putting massive holes into my walls. I mean, even though it is something amazing and fabulous. Okay. So here's one option though. If you do want to go ahead and use the holes, take a piece of paper and you can actually line up at the bottom of where that is, line up at the bottom of where this is, put two marks, one here and one here. And that's where you know you can put your screw holes. Just make sure they're level. How do you know if they're level? Well, one of the things we're gonna be needing today is just a simple little level. And so once you know where those two dots are, one was like here, for example, you just put this paper on your wall, make sure it's level, put two dots where you're gonna be drilling your holes. There you go. It's really not overly hard, but again, I did not wanna do that. And so what did I do? I put a wire on it. And so it's much stronger here 
Um, it's part of the tools you were gonna be needing today. It's really simple, just screw it in. So here's everything you actually need to make this work. You need your level, okay? You'll need like a little screwdriver, okay? Uh, you'll need, I do not recommend these. Do not use these. These are terrible little things. These, they stick out too far. When you screw them in, they're gonna stick out the height of that little loop. Don't use these. Out of here. Don't use those. Use these instead. And if we look through the bag, I keep them in a bag because I don't want them lost in hundreds of places all over. But you can see that these are flat. And this is what I actually have on the back of the plaque. And they also come with a little screw. Okay, all of this is available on Amazon. You need wire. And then you need the little hooks that you actually can put onto the wall. So you might have seen these before. I never use these nails. Don't use the nails, they make a huge hole. That's why we have quilters pens. Quilters pens, they have the little ball on the top. Okay, that is what we're gonna be using today. I use these all the time. If it's something lightweight, you might use a sawtooth, but on the gold plaque, did not wanna do that. So that's really all you need. And you know, I have a whole bunch of them because being former art teacher, you end up needing a whole lot of different pieces and parts. You can buy small packs of these, so you don't need a hundred little, <laughs> I think I ordered these. Yeah, this came as a hundred packs, so I assume there's 50 hooks and 50 nails. I'll use the nails for something else because again, I'm not going to be using them here. And it comes in some different sizes, big hooks, little hooks. Okay, most times you're not hanging something incredibly heavy. Even the picture behind me, that thing is about five feet wide. It's still not super heavy. It does have two hooks on the back and those are a lot harder to hang because it came with these massive, kind of like these on steroids. Massive hooks, but we usually don't need that. So back to here. So all we have to do is you measure down however far you want this to be. They need to be the, about the same distance on each side. So I did that for both. So measure down, screw one in, measure down, screw one in, and then you're gonna put your wire on. And notice that it's coiled around. Don't just put it in a little bit. Make sure you wrap that around really, really, really well. That is super important. For getting that part, it could come out. That's the first thing. Now let me go show you how I actually put the little hook on the wall. So, okay, here we are. We're in my office, which is where all the editing gets done and gets taken care of. So here is where I put the hook. If you notice that the needle is kind of going at a sharp angle, if you notice that the, it's going in like this, not going in straight, it's going in at an angle, and that's the natural way this little hook works. And that, when you put the artwork on here, it's pulling down, and that pulls this actually into the wall even more. So all you have to do then is just simply hang it on there. So let me go ahead and get that done. I'm not sure if I can show you how because I don't have my tripod today. Not everything is brought home over there. I don't transport everything. Some of the stuff lives at the shop. So easy way to do this is if you can kind of pull the wire out just a little bit so it's dangling out there. And there. Get it there, get it set. Give it a little, you know, hey, are you working? I've never had one of these fall off the wall, by the way. Let's go get the level, let's test it. Okay, so let's see, how did I do? D just by eyeballing it, I haven't adjusted this at all. Look at that bubble, looks good, doesn't it? There's one more step I wanna show you guys, but I can't really do it on this because the gold plaque has like a felt background on it and my wallpaper here is kind of fabric, so it doesn't really work for this because Sometimes when we move this, I'm kind of moving this a little bit. It's not adjusting or sliding around at all. So I don't need to do this technique, but I want to show you one thing that will keep your artwork from going all over the place and make you seasick. Sorry about that, but let me show you one more thing real quick. So we're in another spot in my office and here is this lovely painting that one of my aunts made a long time ago. Real lightweight. I mean, it's just on an eight by 10 frame on an eight by 10 little tiny little piece of canvas board. So it's really super lightweight. And in this case, whenever I put this on a saw and a slippery surface, this is gonna slide around. Let me show you. So here we are at a built-in desk area. And you can see there on the left, it's kind of looking kind of naked there. Need to fill that in. Well, let's put the artwork there. In this case, I actually have to use a nail. And it's just a tiny one of those. This is where you use one of those tiny little nails. You can't put a pen through wood. That doesn't work. She originally, a long time ago, had put the wire on here. And so it's just as simple as... There we go. But you can see. 
it wobbles a whole lot. And so you're like, okay, I'll get it level. And I get it level and you know what? You're like, hey, that's great. It's perfect, it's level. I don't need to do anything to it. If only that was the case. The problem is, is that yeah, you think, oh, the house is steady and stable. It's not gonna move or anything. Right, I live in Kansas. You guys know when we live in Kansas with no muffler Newton and guess what? We get earthquakes here occasionally. And it doesn't take a lot to shake and move something off course. And so and it doesn't have to be an earthquake. It can be just something as simple as a strong gust of wind. We have that. We had 50 mile an hour wind last week. Or it could even be opening and closing the door to the house, to the room. It can just simply just the, just the closing of that door can eventually over time move your artwork. So how do I make it stay in place? And I don't want to hurt anything. I don't want to put another nail in my nice built-in desk here. So what do we do? on the tray with some poster tacky. This stuff is great. As a teacher, we love this. This is super fabulous. But this tip, I got this one from an art gallery. What you do is you just take a tiny little ball of it, okay? And let me show you. So what you do is you just take your little piece of tacky, you just set it on the back of the picture. I'm not even gonna take it off the wall. Now, if it's a big one, you might, big artwork, you might wanna put one on each side. Then all we're gonna do is we're gonna Put the level here. Usually I put it on the top, but our camera isn't gonna cooperate with us today. Move a few things out of the way. Get my bubble lined up nice and good. And I'm just pushing. Just push gently on there. And now look, it can move a little bit on the top, but again, pushing here on the bottom, it doesn't move. It's just that easy. All it takes is just some little poster tacky stuff. I have hung all sorts of things. The artwork you see in the back, which is one of my, the photographs I've taken, uh, it's hung with a quilter's pen with one of those hanging hooks. It's got the wires on the back. I don't actually use this on the, in this room uh, on the walls just because of the fabric behind it. There's, it creates enough tension behind it that it just doesn't, they don't move. But everywhere else in the house, I have this stuff. I use this method. I swear by this method. Bigger things, I, and heavier things, I do use a nail, but typically, and people have been like, oh, you use just a needle, just a pin? Yeah, when you put it, now, even if you're using a sawtooth, a little ziggy zag thing, if you push that quilter's pin all the way in, you're gonna have to anyway, and then put that, the artwork on it, it still holds. Because you're not, there's so much of the pin in the wall and then the sheetrock, it's all, yeah, this does work, you have to have sheetrock. It's gonna hold. It really does. Now, the great thing, the other nice thing about this is this method is perfect when it comes time to, when you wanna repaint, just take stuff down. I don't want this picture here anymore. Okay, take all your stuff off, take all the quilters pins out. Problem with this, you might need a needle nose pliers because a lot of times those little pins pop, the tops pop off, but take them all out. And when you paint, the paint is gonna be thick enough. It's gonna seal those holes and you don't even have to spackle. Yeah. I love this method. So hopefully what I love is gonna help you guys out. So this is it. This is all it takes. Just one little quilter's pin and a little bitty hook. Now, one thing I do need to suggest to you guys is that when you put these in and you got this on the wall, you just shake the needle just a little bit. You see how I'm just, just barely shaking it? That will help wiggle its way in. And if you're really having some trouble because the walls here are textured so they have an extra layer of drywall mud on the outside of them that's how they make textured walls uh, sometimes that can be harder to push through and what you can do is take a needle nose pliers also and push it in a little bit at a time and if you bend it okay well fine throw it out and get another one you have a whole pack of these these are super Super fabulous. And you, I have had long ones, short ones, it really doesn't matter. Don't get super, super short. This one's about an inch long. This is, you know, you have to think, it's gotta go into the drywall. That's it. That's all I've got. That's so easy. Now, I promise, I'm sorry last week I said I was gonna do the GT500. It's coming next week. Couldn't get it done this week because, hey, the gold plaque arrived. So I'm glad you were with me today and I hope to see you again next week. See ya.